A Vancouver Island family that lost a child to cancer is turning their tragedy into something positive. They've started the first Canadian chapter of The Cure Starts Now to help fund pediatric brain cancer research in the hopes of finding a cure so other families don't suffer. The holidays are a difficult time of year for Carrie Comboy and her family. It's very hard. A lot of, a lot of memories. Christmas is about the magic of children and families being together. And we're always without one. Carrie's son Liam was just three years old when they found out he had an inoperable brain tumor. And they flew us to Vancouver, BC Children's, and within 12 hours found out he was palliative. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> so we had six months with him. Liam, you look awesome. You red. do. It's one of my favorite colors on you. Yeah. Sadly, the survival rates for children with DIPG are very low. So Carrie and her sister Lindsay decided to turn their grief and pain into something positive. You scored again. When you're grieving the loss of a child, you go through those emotions. And I, we were kind of angry at the unfairness of it all. And Carrie and I aren't angry people and we didn't like how it was making us feel so we wanted to find something to put our grief into. They launched the first Canadian chapter of The Cure Starts Now to fund research and hopefully save other families from heartache. We keep Liam's legacy alive by trying to raise money and find a cure for these brutal brain cancers um, and so far uh, we have raised over $100,000 and donated it to sick kids in Toronto. It gives you a sense of, I want to say peace because of such a tragedy that happened in your life. You are fighting for the lives of other kids. A pancake breakfast with Santa last month raised almost $12,000 for pediatric brain cancer. And a donor will be matching contributions made before the end of the year up to $25,000. And I <clears throat> hope that one day we will find the career. Actually, I know we're going to find it. We have the outside of a puzzle. We have filled in that piece. Now we just need all the insides to come together. You're so good, Liam. Liam always told his mom he wanted to help people when he grew up. And while his young life was tragically cut short, he's doing just that. It makes me happy to know he's not forgotten. He's still with us. He'll always be remembered. And he's doing what he wanted to do. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.